baby. Just the wind. You know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to do an unboxing of something I don't know what it is. Um, and you probably, well, maybe you're wondering, hey, why have you been doing like these unboxings lately and less of your legend tripping stuff? And the reason is because of COVID. I mean, you know, I'm locked down, so it's not as easy to get out there and do the things I want to do. There's a lot of stuff I want to go tackle. And I have a, a, some criteria here for things that I unbox. I'm just not going to unbox something that has nothing to do with anything on this channel or who I am. What I am gonna unbox today is something from Boundary Supply. Boundary Supply makes bags. They're getting into clothes now, but they make bags. I actually visited them in Utah when I did the Ducati school, Enduro school, and I did a video about it. So I'll link to that and you can see the guys that are behind this stuff. So check that out. It's in one of the cards and I'll, I'll make a link down below to Boundary. You know, I work with a couple of case companies. No Nobody sponsors my videos, but sometimes people will send me some things. Peak Design has sent me some stuff. Shimoda has sent me some stuff. And the company that I work with the most is Portabrace because I use a lot of like cinema cameras and, I, and I'm on the road in a tour bus and I need something that is over the top robust. So my camera cases, and I don't even know if this is a camera case. I don't know what this is, okay, when I open this. I really don't. They didn't tell me. My criteria for any kind of a bag is uh, one, it's got to either work uh, on my motorcycle with me and not be too heavy and in the way, or it's got to work for everyday carry, including hiking and things like that, or just everyday running around with the kids, whatever it is. Or it's got to be total utilitarian for like the road, you know, throwing in the back of the truck and, you know, just super heavy duty. My favorite pick for super heavy duty is absolutely Port-a-Brace. Uh, you've already seen some of their bags in my other videos uh, just organically. I haven't like screamed it from the rooftops, but uh, the best bag reviewer on the internet without question is Chase Reeves. He is the man, okay? So uh, one of these days we're gonna do some kind of a collab. I'm not sure what. Without further ado, let's do this. This is from Boundary Supply. Boundary Supply, there we go. And like I said, these guys are super, super committed to what they do. Not just guys, there's girls. I, I just mean like yo guys kind of thing. They have an, an amazing staff of people over there. Uh, they're just really good, hardworking people that really want to make a difference with some really good quality stuff. And uh, no wonder they're around, you know? Check this out. We'll kind of see it at the same time. All right, here we go. What is this beautiful supply? Okay, a few things. Wow, okay. Okay, what is this guy here? Look at this, okay. Let's check this out. This is past inspection, which is a great thing. All right, this looks like a little hip bag. I love small, hey man, bring the butt bag back, I say. I'm telling you, man, these slings, look at this thing, this is cool. Most people wear slings not around their waist so much, but just like around this way. And it's great to just, just throw and go kind of thing. Right, this thing is pretty cool. It looks like a place for keys. Looks like, and you know what? Their materials are great. Oh, and there's an inside. Maybe you can put, not maybe glasses, I don't know. Let's find out. I got my Clark Kent's. Let's see if they fit in here. And they do. And it's not even a tight fit, it's like awesome. Right there. Mm, right there. I'm excited to get into this next bag here. 
but this thing looks really, really cool. It looks like a very small uh, hip pouch uh, slash sling. You can throw your wallet in here, uh, AirPods. Um, <laughs> look at this. There's a pocket in the back. I'm discovering pockets. And if you wonder why I'm looking down, I have a monitor there. What I'm using today is a Leica SL for this video. And this is a key fob. Uh, their key fobs are awesome. Really, really good. Okay, what is this little pack here? Let's, let's suck this checker out. A little ode to Bobby Tango right there. All right, so this is just, not just, because nothing they make is just anything. It's always more than just something. This is a pouch, okay? And I'm not sure exactly what the intent is, except just a little tech bag. Um, I like that this is a lighter color. You can see your stuff in there, you know? Like you, when you're rooting around, like I got a knife in there and a, and a pair of sunglasses. I'm not gonna mix up my knife and my sunglasses. And if I did, I'd be pretty stupid. But what I'm saying is, is that you can, you know, you can see somebody's texting the hell out of me. Who is it? Oh boy, okay. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, it's a great little tech pouch, I can tell. I want like 10 of these, minimum. Let's see if it has any information. Oh, it has an online manual. Wow, there's two bags in here, you guys. Oh man, this is, wow. Oh, mine looks good, yes. Light. Woo! Man, this thing is light. It's freaking awesome. How light this is. This is a new uh, material they're using. And look at how this matches uh, these other bags. So this obviously, oh, and by the way, let's just so you know right off the bat, you know what? They've got this magnetic thing on their keychain. Check this out. You ready? Done, you're good to go. So this bag has, aha, this is where the key clip goes. Okay, so you hook this on your pants or whatever, right? And you pop it off. If you wanna put it in your bag, you just go here and you're good to go. This is really cool. So they've upgraded that because I have the older one. This looks like a pocket for uh, like an iPad or a laptop. How big of a laptop? Maybe a 15. I don't know. I can't confirm that off the top of my head. Although I do have a measuring tape. By the way, I have new stickers coming, new legend tripping stickers. So stay tuned for that. Haven't seen them yet. I don't know what day they're getting here. So this looks like it would fit at least a four, oh, it looks like a 15. So you get these pockets here and then there's an outside pocket. I would use this for my wallet. That's what I would do. And it covers up a little bit. It flips over is what I mean. It's got this mag, oh, geez, this is cool. Okay, you see this? This is magnetized. This is like a real, like sleek kind of vibe. This is like not super techy, just kind of simple. And I like that it flops over like that to keep moisture out or rain. Um, this little loop to hold something, I don't know what, but I am going to try this and keep my wallet in there. Here's another thing that's important to me. Will this hold my water bottle? Yes, it does. Like, robustly so. Now, there's no strap to hold it in, so it could potentially fall out. As long as I don't go upside down, I think I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll hold my water bottle. This is just a simple, very simple, straight ahead backpack. And it's super light. So, you know, could I take this on a motorcycle from a light standpoint? No question about it. This does not, however, oh, it's got some loops on the bottom. So I'm wondering if there's a way to attach a bag here. Maybe. The only thing that this is missing is something that goes across this way, which is good on a motorcycle because it can, you know, the wind can hit it and it can flop off, although, and, and there's nothing that goes across the chest. Uh, so that's one downside. This is definitely more of an everyday carry. 
It's great though, it's nice. It's got a couple loops here, I see, one on each side, so you could potentially tie this down on the back of a motorcycle. Oh, and guess what? One, two, three, four. So I can strap this down, put this in and strap it down to the back of a bike if I had, or I can strap it around this way. So I could use it on a motorcycle from that standpoint. Okay, so now there is one, 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 one more bag in here. And this looks like a duffel. It is a duffel. It doesn't just look like it, it is. And this is sexy. <laughs> All right, same kind of, it's got a different color interior. Wow, look at this thing. Okay, so this squeezes down. Look at this, man. It's almost like, well, I'm gonna move this box. It's almost like, what do you call those overstuffed bags or whatever the heck they are. So this has a pool on it. Can you see this little pool? And you just yank that and it opens up. And, I have a feeling I'm going to find something else out about this that is really cool. I'm not gonna say it yet, but I know what you all are thinking. Does it really see, ah! Oh, it looks like you could put a tripod, a sweater, a jacket, anything like that on the side. Oh, you know what? And it pops on the inside too. So it's got an interior. Uh, how can I show you this? Okay, you see this thing? If you unhook this, if you push it forward, then this becomes this internal bag. This bag becomes a place for sneakers or wet clothes or whatever. And then you don't have your wet clothes or wet whatever, wet whatever, wet whatever, mixing with your other stuff. So then when you wanna close it up, you zip it. Flip that back on and you have your full open bag again. Now, I can see what the really cool thing is here. Inside here, to me, it looks like there are straps. I wonder what a suggested way of getting them out. I think you go this way. All right, I'm guessing it connects here. My phone's blown up. No, I like it here. So then you clip it here. I'm gonna show you how I just did that in a second. I'm guessing this is it. All right, so what this is, is this little metal thing, you push that forward, push it forward, and then you push this down and it comes out. It's a little tricky, but it keeps it from accidentally opening up. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-snap this for a sec, and it's like a magnetic catch. It's freaking awesome. This is a backpack slash duffel bag, and what I'm gonna try this for is jujitsu class. Although I feel like I would keep it pretty much open all the time, like this. There's no reason you can't. You know, if you fill this up, you put a gi in here and a towel and a bunch of stuff, it gets filled up pretty quick. I could see myself rolling into jujitsu like this. Yo guys, let's roll. Well, you don't want to roll? My, my bag intimidating you? Is that what it is? Get on the freaking mat, okay? For one thing, a towel for after I take a shower. Uh, dirty clothes bag, very light. This is what I pack for jujitsu. Knee pads that should have been retired a long time ago, but they're just comfortable. My rash guard for under the gi. Tomorrow's a gi day, so we're wearing the gi tomorrow. My little accessory bag with like, you know, a brush and deodorant and stuff like that. I mean, a razor. In case I need to shave. My gi, by show you all. This is a comp gi, it's bitchin'. This big chunk of stuff, of course my prized possession is my belt, three stripe black belt that I've had for a while and it's very worn. So will it all fit in here? And then, just gonna zip it. 
Now, if you want to tighten it down, you can, whoa, dude, there's so much room in here. Look, I just, and, and you can let this out a little bit, I think. Yeah, you can adjust this. Bam, it's almost like a compression bag. Here's the strap for over the shoulder. And I feel like I would probably use this more than the backpack, probably. Yep. So that goes across that way. Uh, in case I missed it, I wanted to let you know is that I was complaining about these handles. But as you can see, they tuck right in here. You know what? If you're a yoga person, you can put a yoga mat in there. Bam. <laughs> Dude, that is it. Take care of each other and keep rock alive. Yeah.